Hello friends, welcome back to Yauk Outdoors. Well, you know the channel is growing. Thank you all for your support. To show my appreciation, I am going to give away the mold that I'm making in this video. Yeah, this fat tail minnow mold. So remember to stay till the end of the video and learn how to win this mold. Let's get back to our topic. Recently, I've been having uh, good luck with the uh, finesse minnow type of bait for pre-spawn bass, uh, either with a twitch twitch retrieval or just a drop shot dance. In the meantime, I also have a good luck with this armor leech. Uh, basically, I use the same technique, drop shot dance. But in terms of swimming action, twitch twitch doesn't really give me a good swimming action. So I was thinking maybe I should do something to combine those two. And so this is what I come up with. I call it a fat tail minnow. So basically, it's a minnow type of finesse bait. But instead of having a streamlined tail, I will have a fat tail, just like the leech. By doing this, it will make the tail action more visible. I will add some detail on the tail fin. Let's get to it. We start with the line and use that line to create a pipe form. And we set up left right symmetrical and start 3D sculpting. I plan to make an open pour mold, so I intentionally make the top of the model a little bit taller. Once we have the basic body shape, let's move on to the tail detail. Here I want to have some spines extruding out from the fat tail. So first, I draw some lines and project those lines to the surface of the body. And then I create a pipe from those projected lines. For the head detail, I added the gill plate and also the pectoral fins. To make those, first I draw the outlines and then I extrude those into a new body. After that, I move and rotate those new objects to the right place. Don't forget about the eyes. Now I have all the parts on one side. Let's do the mirror. Also merge everything into one body. Now you have it, the fat tail minnow model. Here I'm making a two cavity open pour mold. So I duplicate the model by copy and paste. If you want to make a mold with more cavities, just copy and paste multiple times. The process here is pretty straightforward. Just make a box and then combine the model with the box with the cut operation. So here is some tip. When I make the model, I intentionally make it taller. So when I cut the mold, uh, because this is an open pour mold, I have to cut the top part out. Because it's taller, I have more space to work with. So it will not end up with very narrow opening on the top. After the mold is cut, 
I realize uh, the cavity is not as flat as I want it to be. So I went back and uh, adjust everything. Here's the final result and the mold. For the color scheme, I go with two-tone. The belly part will be a little bit white and uh, with a lot of uh, silver glitters. For the back, I'm using the aqua color with a little bit of black glitters. The mold is easy and also I applied some oil in the cavity and that makes it even easier. I like this translucent look and a lot of fine glitters in the belly and look at that fat tail. This open pore mold is very easy to work with and here I'm showing the different color scheme. And look at the detail. I didn't put too much detail in the design, but sometimes less is more. One thing I would like to point out is when you do the laminated color scheme to avoid cold crack, uh, you have to pour plastic one after another uh, almost immediately or before the first color cools down. Because this is a 3D printed mold, you cannot heat up the mold before you pour the second color. That's why you have to do it very quickly. So how does it perform? Well, there you go. You can see the tail dance is very visible. But how does it swim? As you can see, if I twitch, twitch, it will glide side to side. And the tail also flap a little bit. Almost have this kind of uh, irregular uh, action. Paddle tails do not have this kind of action. And actually when you slow retrieve, it wobbles gently. Uh, I would say this is more natural looking. Now let's see if the fish like it. Let's see if they're chasing the shallow. I was using the medium speed retrieval and also with some yo-yo action. Oh, go. Dude, tighten your drag. They are chasing the bait fish in the shallow and this works very well in this kind of condition. On top of the mouth, that's how I like it. I'm using a white gap offset hook with a bait keeper and this way it will last longer. 
Now let's talk about the mold giveaway. Sure. If you live in the lower 48, you are automatically qualified. To sign up the giveaway, first, you need to subscribe the channel if you haven't. Second, leave any comment in the comment section. In the end of this month, I will randomly pick a winner, get in contact with you, and mail it to you. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Oh, without the tail. Somebody bit my tail off. It still works.